right. What's up, everybody? Hey! Welcome to the cooking show with Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat, today I need you, man. I freaking need you. You're you're the the star of the show. There's something about the the play we're gonna do today, Mr. Cat. Okay. Okay, Mr. Cat, just wanna. Mr. Cat. Ah. Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat. Ow. Okay. Ah. Bad cat. If you come near my house, guys, be careful. I got I got a dangerous cat, man. Dangerous cat. But yeah, today we're doing carbonara, and I'm kind of scared. I gotta be honest, this is a scary one. Not one you wanna you wanna mess up, let's just say that. If Italian cooks see that you messed up carbonara, they're coming after you, man. And they look scary, man. I I, I don't wanna fuck around with them, man. Garlic, no, 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 no. No garlic, look at that, looks burned. No more garlic, chicken stock. What have they done? Chicken stock in carbonara. No, why the parsley? Everything is wrong. Pasta, you, you can actually make it. Try, quick. Mix that food. You're interrupting me. Please, where's my plate? It's a rainbow pasta. It's not a carbonara pasta. Fry that up until it's nice and crisp, and in the last few minutes of cooking, set a few nests of pasta in some boiling water oh, for two minutes. Oh, I'm not gonna Two to three oh. cloves of this garlic. What we have here is the inside part, the peppercorn, which is hotter, perfect for a good oh. hot carbonara. Oh. The guanciale is getting golden. Se lo metti sul fuoco lo fai tu sta un attimo poi tiragli fuori un po' di profumo. Ma prima del, ma prima del. Certo, ma non certamente sul This part of the danger of doing carbonara on YouTube. Well, it's going to be fantastic, man. They won't have anything to say, man. I'm going I'm going to do the carbonara and they're going to be like, is this guy Italian? Is this guy was born with pasta in his bed? And you know what? If they they still want to threaten my carbonara this is Mr. Cat recipe. If you can bully me, you gotta bully Mr. Cat. Who in the hell would bully Mr. Cat, man? Whew. Please don't come after me, man. I'm a good citizen, man. I pay my taxes and everything. Not like some other person. <laughs> I paid millions of dollars in taxes, millions of dollars of income tax. And let me just tell you, there was a story in one of the papers. I paid, I paid $38 million one year. I paid twenty-seven million. Show us your tax returns. You are fake news. Sorry, I, I had to do it, man. <laughs> for the meme. For the meme. Right. So for the ingredient, we got some wiener. Oh, yeah, it's fun. Huh? I yeah, I do the same thing, man. Okay, Mr. Guy. Mr. Cat, show me your art. Show me your art. <laughs> okay, no, this is... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I don't have energy today. This, I, I'm giving up, man. Mr. Cat, do whatever you... Yeah, I mean... I like it. I like I like your style, Mr. Cat. You're, you're wild. You, you're not afraid of the rule. You guys want to see Mr. Cat art? Look at that. Good job. Hey. But now we kind of wasted a lot of it. Ah, yeah. It's a freaking mess. So this is the list of ingredients you need so you don't get bullied. It's pretty simple. So little ingredient. First you need the egg. The egg is the base. The base of the carbonara. You know, you need eggs. Eggs is a must. After that, we got pecorino, romano, you can use parmesan, who cares? Guanciale is a little bit more tough to find. You can use really uh, thick bacon. If you use bacon, use something really thick because you want a lot of fat. So it's all about the fat, man. This stuff is fatty as fuck. A little bit of black pepper, I like to crush it fresh, you know, just to get a lot more flavor, a lot more aroma. Classic carbonara, always with banana. Carbonara banana. It says it in the name. Don't underestimate me, man. I'm fully banana. Alright, so first we're gonna do the pasta dough. We're gonna put the simolna into a mixer and we're gonna gradually add the water until we get a nice and sticky consistency. After that, we're gonna pull out our extruder. 
and we're gonna put the mixture inside and we slowly gonna let the thing happen the noodles are gonna come out and we're just gonna cut them make sure you get a nice flour surface so nothing stick together and it's that easy and you get some perfect bucatini you can cook them fresh or just let them dry all right next we're gonna crush some black peppercorn freshly ground pepper in a mortal is just so aromatic it's beautiful and it's always lovely in a carbonara all right next we're gonna do our egg mixture for every one egg i'm using an egg yolk and i'm gonna add a hefty amount of pecorino and a lot of black pepper just mix everything together and reserve it for later all right so next we're gonna cook the guanciale Basically you go medium low heat and you wait until they're nice and crispy. And while they're cooking, we're gonna start our pasta. We're gonna cook them into salted boiling water. And really important, reserve some of that cooking water. It's really important you do that. When they're ready, we're gonna filter them. And when the guanciale is nice and crispy, we're gonna add the cooking water to stop the oil from frying. We're gonna add the pasta to the pot. And we have the heat closed. And only then you can add your egg mixture and make sure you start tossing really fast so everything is nice and coated everywhere. And then you just wait that your cheese melt and everything is looking good and you got perfect carbonara. All right guys, it's plating time, let's do this. Super simple, we're just gonna put the pasta onto the plate. Make sure you put all the creamy sauce on top. And I personally like to top it with a little bit more black pepper. And you can add a little bit more pecorino too if you want. And there we have it, the perfect carbonara. I'm so proud of this one. It looked fantastic, it was fantastic. Like four or five ingredients, a look at this. Look at this, four or five ingredients, look. It's crazy. All right, let's just let's just let's just dig. Let's just let's just dig a hole into this plate. Mm. It's like more creamy than cream itself. It's freaking delicious, man. It's just a big bowl of flavor, man. Flavor Town, Guy Freire. Hell yeah, man. Question of the day: What is your biggest fear? Right. That's a tough one because I got many fear, man. I'm freaking scared, man. I, I have I have like two main fear, okay? The first fear, I'm fear of height, man. I don't like it. Too high, you know? I'm a I'm a down-to-earth guy, you know? So it's not, I'm not going too high, you know? The second one, I, I freaking hate insect. I, I hate ants. I hate spider. I hate, ev I hate every one of them. I freaking don't like them. They're just... They're just awful, man. I don't trust small things, you know? I wouldn't mind eating them, you know? I, I'm always open on, on eating and sick. I got no problem eating. Actually, I would like to eat them so they freaking die, man. And you don't know what they want. What, what do insect want, you know? You don't know what they want. Uh, but yeah, so insect and hide, man. Those are my two fear. Or you, what is your fear? You fear clown? <laughs> As you guys can see, I think we were. I think I think it was a success. I think we won't get bullied, but if I ever get bullied, just remember, I can bully back. Pew, pew. I just the tiger man. But yeah, thank you all for watching. You guys are awesome. Oh yeah, thanks. Peace out. Pew.